Hey guys, it's Haley, uh, Cosmetology 220 Lab. Um, today we are going to clean our dirty implements. So today we have a nail brush. We have brought it to the dispensary or the sink area to be cleaned. And we are going to um, go ahead and get that um, cleaned today. So first thing we're going to do is locate our cleaning solution, which is here and um, read the instructions for that, which we're using Dawn. So basically it's just to lather and rinse. Um, so that is the instructions for that. So we're going to fill our little container up with water and a little bit of Dawn here and place our um, implement inside and wash. So just lathering it up real good, making sure that we've removed all the debris. Wash all sides, front, back, in between. And then we're going to rinse um, our implement. Clean it or dry it with a clean towel. Now that that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and rinse our container. And we're rinsing this container and we're going to dry it out just to ensure that it doesn't dilute our disinfecting solution that we're about to use. So we're going to make sure it is good and dry. container is super dry and ready for the disinfectant. So next thing we're going to do is locate our disinfectant, which is our pretend barbicide. We are going to locate on this label the EPA registration number um, that just tells us that our product is um, bactericidal, vericidal, and fungicidal. Um, and then it's going to, we're going to read the directions and follow those. So the directions for barbicide are 32 ounces of water to two ounces of barbicide, but we don't need quite that much for this small container and this small implement. So we're gonna reduce that down to 16 to one. So before I open this, the first thing I need to do is get my safety equipment. So I'm gonna put on gloves and safety goggles. And then I'm going to start mixing. So. I'm going to mix warm water and measure out my 16 ounces in my two ounce measuring cup here. And I'm gonna just fill my little container. And then I'm going to put one ounce of my barbicide in. Pouring that into the container as well. And then I'm going to just place my instrument in, ensure that it's fully submerged, and then seal a container. And that's going to sit for 10 minutes according to manufacturer's instructions. All right, so implement has set for 10 minutes. Um, at this point, depending on what I was doing during that 10 minutes, I either am still gloved or I could put on a fresh pair of gloves because again, we're dealing with this disinfectant that can be harmful to your skin. So we're going to um, remove the lid. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and dry that real quick. That's dry. Then we're going to take our implement out. We're going to rinse this with hot, hot water. Okay. 
then we're going to dry it. Then I'm going to go ahead and discard this barbicide mixture that I have here. Rinse my container. And dry that as well. Um, I'm going to use this for the storage of my clean implements. So I want it to be nice and dry. Now that that's nice and dry, I'm going to put my um, clean implement into my um, dry clean storage container and store that away. Um, and we're just sealing it up in here to make sure it doesn't come in contact with any other items that may not have been disinfected yet. Um, at this point, I would go ahead and remove my gloves, safety goggles, and then go ahead and wash my hands.